Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Victoria and welcome to Pembroke Beauty. So today I did this um, really cool, I think, um, cut crease for like a Christmas party or a holiday party or whatever type of party you wanted to go to. It's very warm, it's very cozy, but it's also very glam. It's a cut crease, it has glitter, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on, got a dark lip, and I actually have a second lip option at the end of this video as well. So if you are interested in seeing how to get this look and you want to check it out, then just keep watching. I'm going to start out with my Yes to Carrots Nourishing Moisturizer. This is my primer, and if you guys have a primer that you like more or that you use on a daily basis or whatever, just feel free to use that. But I do like this because it's very moisturizing and is a good base for my makeup because it's not too heavy, but it's not too light either. Also, there is construction going on underneath of me, so if you hear any like crazy bangs or whatever, that's probably from that, just so you know. I'm just going to put this in like right underneath my eyes and right on top, and then I'm going to add a different concealer for the rest of my face. Um, I really like doing this recently. I think that it looks really nice. I need this for the extra coverage, but then the other one has a better color for my skin right now because I'm very, very pale. I have one hoovel right there, so I'll get rid of that too. So that's what I'll do with the LA Girl one. And that's in the shade Porcelain, I think. Yeah, whatever like one of the lightest shades is. And then recently, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but this is very exciting. CoverGirl went cruelty free and they are 100% cruelty free now and that's so exciting. So I decided to get the CoverGirl Clean Matte Concealer and I have it in the shade Fair, which is their lightest shade. And it's really, really, really light. So it's really good. I've been using it a lot recently and really there's not that much coverage um, so to, that's why under my eyes I have the LA Girl one for the coverage but for the rest of my face for like highlighting and stuff I'm going to use this one. So as per usual I don't wear foundation which is why I don't have it on but if you guys do feel free to apply it and then do your concealer however you like to. Um, if you're looking for a good drugstore one, I know the Wet n Wild one is good. I've heard the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir one, that one's apparently really good. And then the Flower Beauty one is supposed to be really good. So those are three um, drugstore options for foundations if you guys are looking for one. Um, I know that it's not something that I really use, so it's kind of hard for me to give you like a hands down personal advice and so I'm sorry. but. Those would be the ones that I would suggest to you if somebody asked me for a drugstore recommendation. Just judging on other people's recommendations I've seen and, you know, people that I trust. So, that is what I would suggest. But right now, if you want to use your beauty blender or you want to use a brush, feel free. You guys know that I always like to use my fingers because I just feel like the warmth of your finger really helps blend everything in. But that is totally up to your discrepancy, whatever you would like to do. So now that that is all blended in, I am going to go in with my ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder and this is in the shade Translucent. This is the loose one. I also really like the pressed one. I also love the Starfire one, so whichever one you have, feel free to use, but this is also the Flower Beauty pressed one. Really good. Um, so I'm just going to go with my Morphe, well, come back, my Morphe Beautiful and Bronze brush and I'm just going to tap off some of that and set my under eyes mostly and then set the rest of my face as well. It has been like forever since I've done a full face like speaking through tutorial with you guys so I figured today I wanted to do one because I really miss you guys and it's been like forever since I feel like I've been able to really sit down and like get fully ready so that's why I'm doing it today. But So hopefully you enjoy. I don't know if you guys like these videos more, but if you do, definitely give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like videos like this more, or I can just do more speaking over ones, or some more reviews where I don't really do my whole face, I just do my eyes, or whatever. Um, so just let me know. So now I'm going to go in and contour my face, and I've been loving this. I've heard very good things about it, and I tried it. Absolutely love it. This is the Catrice Ashy Radiance Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette. Um, and I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. brush, which I really like for bronzing and contouring. If you guys have a different one that you really like, feel free. This is just a really good, like, coolness for me. A lot of bronzers are too red-toned to really, like, contour. 
um, but this one's nice and cool toned so it's it actually looks like a shadow so I'm starting from like the middle of my ear and just kind of dragging it down trying to keep it from getting too low if anything I don't want it to get too low and once I kind of have the line down then I'll kind of do circular motions kind of gently lifting it upwards on the cheek also gonna put that under my chin this helps it all look more cohesive like usually my face is kind of lighter than my body so this <laughs> helps me to make everything look less strange if it does does that make sense I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead around my temples I don't want to do too much but a little bit is always good kind of connect it and then down the edge of the nose just a little bit so that it doesn't look too stark like if you have a lot of warmth happening here and you have like zero happening here you tend to look a little like strange so now to kind of warm up the skin I'm going in with the ColourPop um, what is this called private party bronzer and I love this this is slightly deep for me so I have to use it very sparingly unless it's summertime and even then I kind of have to use it sparingly but it's beautiful the formula is beautiful so like for this I'm literally just going to kind of tap We're just right along the perimeter of my face I don't want to get too crazy because it is deep and then when I have almost nothing left then I'll go ahead and get in there and blend everything together but this really does do a lot as far as warming up the skin and I think it looks very flattering because even though it is warm it's not like orange you know and that's never cute put a little under the lip so that it kind of makes your lip look a little bigger and I kind of like to pull my bronzer up a little bit like onto my cheek itself and to kind of help almost like a secondary blush if you will so now I'm gonna go in with this warm tone because I have an idea for the look. Obviously we got like Christmassy party theme kind of going on which black got my jingly ears going on. And so I'm going in with the Note Beauty or Note Cosmetics, I don't know. The Note um, Desert Rose Blush. And this is very um, warmy, apricot, orangey kind of toned. And it's very pretty very pigmented so I'm taking this tart brush from the mermaid collection obviously I've talked about this before so just get a duo fiber brush that kind of looks like this and it will apply your it will apply your blush really nicely because it won't be too much because of how the fibers are and it'll help to really like blend everything out so I kind of like to like smile kind of creepy and then place it right here on like the apples of my cheeks and kind of pull it back and into that bronzer that we push. I also like to take a little bit onto my nose because I just think that that looks really pretty. And then I like to get it into my bronzer kind of so that it all melds into one as opposed to looking kind of blotchy and chalky and stuff like that. I know this is a lot of steps but it's worthwhile I think. So now I'm going to go back in with my bronzer brush with nothing on it and I'm just going to kind of stamp that in it will help push the product in to the skin and look really pretty. So now I'm going to go in and cut this contour a little bit and clean up everything underneath. Um, so I'm taking my original Morphe Beautiful and Bronze brush, taking a lot of powder on it and I'm just going to drag that And then I like to take a little bit up here, right under the eye, to help kind of blend in any blush and bronzer that got a little wild. But I don't have much left on the brush. So it will just see, like, now I look, you know? So I'm just going to brush all that off. <clears throat> just helps to kind of tone everything down and, you know. So then if you feel like you did a little too much, feel free to go back in with your bronzer and highlighter or your bronzer and blush. Just re-intensify anywhere that you feel like you want to. If you want to, if not, then you're good. Cool. So, 
If you want to leave that bake on for a little bit longer, you can. I don't really like to leave it on too long because my skin is dry and it kind of tends to like, but it's up to you, however you want to do it. So now I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics ice cold highlighter so this one is like a very white gold and it's beautiful and in the winter when I have like zero tan at all because I'm pale this is a really 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 good color for me so especially since I'm doing kind of like a golden look today this is really good so I'm just going to take my elf brush right here and highlight my face And I like to do this before I do my brows because I do like to get it up onto that brow bone. And then I think I told you guys recently I liked going back in with my Luxie brush and blending all of that in. And then I'll re-intensify right on the very top of my cheekbone with that elf brush. And go back in a little bit with the blush brush. And then going back in with the elf brush. Really focusing that brightness right here. Right at the top of the cheekbone. Okay, and then I'm just going to throw some on my chest while we're at it because I really like doing this. I just think that it's really pretty. So, as you guys know, I really love using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and I have it in the shade Chocolate. So, I'm going to brush that through my brows. If you have a brow routine that you really, really enjoy, feel free to use that. This is the one that I like using the most. It's natural and fluffy, but not too natural where you can't see my brows because I do need a little bit of attention to them. See, like that adds color, but it's not too intense and it's just, it's good and it's easy. <laughs> so that's why I really like it. So that is probably it for my skin, at least for now. And now I'm going to pull you in a little closer and we're going to work on the eyes. Okay, so I have an idea for what makeup I want to do today, like what eye makeup I want to do today. And truly it is inspired by this girl, Juliet Makeup. I found this post and it was just so beautiful that I like was very into it. So I figured I'd do something along those lines because I just felt like that was a really good like holiday Christmassy look, but it's not too neutral, but it's also not too um, bland either. And I'll, obviously I'll probably do my like own spin on it and I might add a little glitter and whatever, but um, at least for the original like thought, that is what I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to do. So I just wanted to give credit to her. So again, that girl's name on... Instagram is Juliet.makeup. So if you are interested in following her, feel free. Um, also, if you're interested in following me, you can. And it's Pember Beauty 4 on Instagram. So definitely check out her. Check out myself if you're already here. And um, so that's what I'm doing today. Sorry. So I'm thinking I'm starting out with the Morphe... Um, what is it called? 35F, which I've had this for a while and I freaking love this palette. So it looks a little messed up. This is it. It is all warm tones. This entire bottom row here is all mattes and then the rest of the palette is shimmer. These are beautiful. Um, I have the old packaging because I have had it for a while. Um, but I'm going to use probably a mixture of this and a mixture of the original Jaclyn Hill palette. So again, this is a mess and a half because I use this palette all the freaking time. So this is what it looks like. So I'll probably use a mixture of the two. Again, sorry for how disgusting they look, but yeah. So I'm going to probably be flopping back and forth. So just bear with me. Obviously, you could probably use one or the other. Honestly, you could use really any neutral palette most likely because this is going to be more of a neutral looking look, but I'm going to zhuzh it up with a little something. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. So let's get started. I'm going to first start out with the 35F palette and I'm going to go into this very first shade right here in the corner, which is kind of a peachy transition tran ugh, transition shade. And I'm going to use this in my crease on this big fluffy Morphe, Morphe Beautiful in Bronze brush. I'm just going to drag that through my crease. 
Honestly, this shade you probably won't see very much on my skin, especially not on camera, because it's fairly close to my actual skin tone. Like, I know Milani has a neutral kind of warm tone palette, which you could probably use. I think it's called Guilty Pleasures. I know Wet n Wild has a bunch of couple warm tone palettes that they just released. I know e.l.f. has a couple, so definitely look around if you don't feel like getting the Morphe ones, but I will say the Morphe ones are amazing. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, the one right next to it on the same exact brush, and just build up some depth right there in that crease. This one, obviously, you can see a little bit more, and as you can see from the picture, we're kind of doing a cut crease, so I'm not going to be too concerned with what gets on the lid. I'm really focusing on the crease and above right now, so... Feel free to kind of be a little sloppy on the lower half of the eye with this. Does not have to be perfect, just focus on the blending up here. Okay, now I'm gonna switch gears and go into the Elizabeth Mott blending brush and use the Jaclyn palette. And I'm going to go into, rude. I'm gonna go into, um, I'm gonna go into this shade right here because I do want to make this warm. Okay, so my palette is one of the original ones, so it doesn't have the names anywhere, anywhere. So I don't have the sheet where it had the names, I don't have any of that, so I don't know what, I don't know what any of the names are. So that's why I'm just showing you what they are, so I'm sorry. Um, and I'm just going to lay this into the crease. This is slightly more warm toned. This palette is freaking amazing. If you guys are unsure what palette to get, I highly recommend this one so good so pigmented and I'm just doing little windshield wiper motions keeping it in the crease again not being concerned about the lower crease and the lid just being concerned about the upper half I am going to kind of bring this in on the outer edge out here so the key with blending out shadows like this is that you want to start like when you first put like you have you just dipped into the palette tap off some and then you want to stick it at the lowest part of where you want that color to be and then work your way up because if you start up at the top where you actually want it to be or you know what I'm saying like if you start exactly where you want it it will be a pain in the neck to blend out and it's going to be not easy so for this step here I would say place it a little lower since we're not concerned about the lid and then blend yourself up. And then I want this lower lash line to be nice and blown out, so I am kind of dragging it farther down. If you'd prefer, like if on eye, your eye shape you don't really like that so much, keep it a little tighter and, you know, obviously amend this process to however you like to wear your makeup. So now I want to take this Morphe Beautiful and Bronze pencil brush. <laughs> And I'm going to go into the shade right next to the shade that we just used, which is this very bright, vibrant red. And I'm also going to dip a little bit into this brown right here as well, just very gently. Um, and I'm going to take that a little bit lower in the crease, again, just building up that pigment. And most of this will probably get covered up. I just want to have a really pretty gradient going on, which is why I am doing this. Really keeping this low. I don't want to drag this up too far. Again, focusing this out on the outer edge here. Doing little, very tight circular motions out here. It's probably the, at best, and easiest way that you're gonna keep that pigment, but you're also going to blend. And then gently dragging yourself back in to the inner corner. I again want to build that color up right on here because I am gonna have that cut the concealer so I want it to be able to be seen above that the other thing that you want to be aware of when you're doing eye looks like this and eye looks especially like when you're using darker shades is you want to avoid getting color in here it will really like if you're doing a smoky look if you don't plan to have smokiness on the inner part of that eye it's really gonna throw off the entire look and it's gonna make you look really closed as opposed to having your eyes opened because most of the time like if I'm gonna do a really intense smoky eye or something like that I'm gonna have the deepness out here and all over the lid and then I'm gonna have a big pop of color like pop of brightness right on the inner corner to 
open up that eye because there is so much shadow around it that will try and make it look closed. So if you can avoid getting anything in there, that's going to be key to making your makeup turn out good. Obviously there's going to be some looks where you kind of want it to be dark in there, which is fine too, but like if that's not what your intent is, just be aware of keeping that pigment out of that area. So then if you want, you can go back in with the Elizabeth Mott blending brush and just kind of hit the edges of those colors and it will help to blend all of that together. And I'm barely, 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 barely using any pressure, just gently gliding over and doing little tiny circular motions over top. If you push too hard, you will drag that color out and you don't want it to get too high up in your crease and on your brow bone, so that's why you want to be very gentle. I personally like connecting like how I went along the edges there, so if you don't like doing that, don't, don't feel like you have to, but I do like doing that. I think it adds a little something. So then I'll go in with the big fluffy original brush with nothing on it, and I'm just going to take that along the edges of the entire eye look. So I now want to go in with a little bit more red, so I'm going to go in with the Elizabeth Mott blending brush and I'm going to go into this shade right here and a little bit of this shade right under it. So that's all I want to do with that. I don't want to like get too crazy with it. I just wanted to make that extra red. So now I'm going to go in again with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to cut my crease. So if you guys have followed me for a while, you know that I really like using my e.l.f. concealer brush for this. So it's a very teeny tiny little brush. And I'm just going to go from the inner corner out. This is not a super easy... I mean, it's not hard. I wouldn't say that it's hard. But like, it's definitely something that's better with practice. So don't get frustrated if you don't get it the first time. So start at the inner corner of your eye. Kind of take it and drag it. Drag it to about there, okay? So like maybe a third into your lid. Then you want to take some more and you want to put it right on your lash line. Okay? And then you want to open your eye. And you don't want to do that. But so you want to open your eye and then that will put it where your crease will not be seen. So then you're just gonna fill in your lid up to that line and make it as smooth as possible along the upper part, like right up here. I think the easiest way to do that is just with short little movements like that, just like. And then the other key part is getting it to match the first one you did. And then like I said, once you get out towards the outer edge, you just want to do really light feathery motions. You don't want to take it too far out. Now we have cut creases. And to be honest with you, I mean, there's no perfect way to do it. So do not get frustrated. You can always fix it with eyeshadow. Like when you go back to go in and add eyeshadow, it's not something that's irreversible. So don't stress, it's fine. I'm going to go in with my handy dandy Lottie London brush and I'm going to go into this gold and it is a very yellowy bright Christmassy gold and I'm going to just pack this on my lid. You can use your finger if you want to, you can use the e.l.f. concealer brush if you want to, but I would suggest keeping this concealer damp because it will really intensify the gold on the lid. So that shimmer will stick right to it and it will be beautiful. Just like that. Dang it, I wanted to use a different, mm. okay. So we're gonna do a little um, switcheroo here, but I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and then I'm going to add another shadow on top. I would just take your brush and pat the color on. I would not move it around. I would just gently take it and pat it. So now what I actually wanted to do from the like get-go, which I'm mad at myself for forgetting, but that's fine. So I have the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Lightning Bug, which is probably my all-time favorite Super Shock Shadow ever. And I'm just going to take it. It is this beautiful like coppery gold with a bunch of glitter in it. It's just so pretty. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and place it on our lid as well. If I had been start smart and remembered, 
I would have just done this right over top of the concealer, but I forgot, so whatever. So just pat that right over top. Obviously, if you don't have this and you don't want to do this step, don't stress about it. Just use whatever gold or honestly whatever color you want. Like if you wanted to do a red, you could do that. If you wanted to do a brown, you could do that. If you wanted to do a black, this would be a really pretty original like spot to do a black smoky eye. If you wanted to do a silver. So now what I want to do is I want to go in and make this not look insanely harsh. Um, and I'm just going to go back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and kind of go back in with the matte shades we used and just make it look beautiful. So I'm going to start with the um, pencil brush and I'm going to go back into that bright red that we used and into a little bit of the deep brown that we used. And I'm just going to take that right on the outer edge and just really blend that right over top of where the gold is to make it seamless and blended. And then I'm just going to run this along the crease right there. You just saw me do it right in there. Just very, very, very gently running it along there because I don't want it to get too blended away. I do want that sharpness to still exist. I just don't want it to be that sharp. So again, just going to go back in with the Elizabeth Mop blending brush, make sure everything's blended, and we are pretty much done with the upper lid. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, cool. So I think I want to just add a little bit more smokiness on the lower lash line, and I'm actually not going to add any shimmer down there. So I think I want to go in with... There's a part of me that wants to go in with a black liner on the waterline, but then there's a part of me that wants to go in with a brown one. I think I'm going to go in with the brown one, and if I'm not pleased, I'll go over it with the black one. So this is the ColourPop Mr. Bing Black... Uh, the ColourPop Mr. Bling Cream Gel Liner, and this was in collaboration with um, Kathleen Lights, which you guys know I love her. I think I'm going to take this beautiful and bronze brush. As you can see, it's like a really skinny flat one for like right underneath. And I'm just going to go into the deep brown that we were using again, and maybe a little bit of this brown too. And I'm just going to smudge that really, really, really closely to my lower lash line just to kind of make this extra smoky looking. Cool. So now I think I'm going to do a little glitter because I want to. And so this is the NYX Liquid Crystal Body Liner in Crystal Gold, I think. Yeah, Crystal Gold. And these are super easy if you have the Urban Decay ones. It's the same exact thing pretty much. And I'm just going to take this along and hope that I don't mess it up. I'm going to take this along right in here. Kind of like right along that cut crease line. And actually maybe a little bit just on the inner part. Obviously you guys don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I just wanted a little bit of glitter because what is Christmas without glitter, you know? So for this product, you really have to wait for it to dry. So I'm just going to fan myself and wait for it to dry. Okay, so I've now done the glitter and I'm going to speed through me doing this because this could take me a while. I'm going to use my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I think I'm going to do a wing, but I'm not sure, but I think maybe, so I don't know. But I'm going to speed through it because I don't film this very well because it's hard for me to not be like right here. So just be aware that I'm going to speed through this part. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do like a line and then I'm going to put my lashes on because I think that it will be kind of different and pretty. So I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm also going to fast forward doing my lashes. One, because it will be incredibly long and two, because it will be hard for me to talk anyway when I do it. So, but at least then you guys can see it. So I will go ahead and do that right now. As I said, that would take forever, and it did. So I'm now going to highlight my inner corners, and I'm using the same exact highlight that I used on my face, and I'm going to go in with a second e.l.f. concealer brush, and I'm just going to highlight my inner corners, and I might add a little bit to my brow bone as well. Um, I think that this is a crucial step to every makeup that you ever do in your entire life, so 
So then off camera, I'm going to apply mascara. I'm going to use my current favorite mascara, which is the IT Superhero Mascara. This is so freaking good, I can't even. I am kind of disgusted that I like it because it is expensive. <sighs> I love it so much, it's so good. So I'm gonna apply this and then I'll come back and we'll do lips. Also, you guys know that I love setting my face and currently, I've been in love with this, so I'm probably going to use this off camera as well. This is the Flower Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray Dewy Finish version. And I love a dewy finish. I really like how that looks. I have dry skin, so the matte finish really is not great for me. But this is amazing. The sprayer is so good, so definitely I recommend this if you are on the hunt for a setting spray. You get it at Walmart or Ulta. So there you go. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished look. I have a couple live options that I'm not sure whether or not I want to use. I might show you a couple of them just as like options if you were wondering what you wanted to use. So I brought out a nude, a red, and a dark lipstick option and I'm not sure which one like I said I will go with but I am going to show you all of them. So this one is Riot from Lime Crime. This is like my all-time favorite nude and I think that if you used a red liner um, and like filled in your entire lips and then put this over top. This would be a really really pretty like neutral kind of Red tone nude for you to use if you wanted to Additionally, if you wanted to do more glitter you could use the Ciate glitter flip in Hollywood and this one is like Red it's bright red. It's beautiful Um, and it has once you wait like two minutes you put your lips together and then you end up with glitter all over your mouth and that's so cool so that is a second option if you were thinking about one. Additionally, I just bought this one. This is the Milani Amore 22 Amore Matte Lip Cream. And this is such a beautiful red. This is so pretty. It might be a little bit too pinky for this look, but I they have a bunch of other ones. This would be stunning, I think. Um, and then a dark version is, or a dark option, I guess. I just bought this one as well. This is the CoverGirl Melting Pout um, Matte Lipstick in Paradise Lost. 345 and this is so pretty like if you wanted to go with a dark lip so I might try on a red and this dark and show you both options so I'm gonna line my lips with the matte uh, no the NYX retractable uh, lip pencil in red so I haven't tried either of these so I'm gonna go with the Milani Amore 22 matte lip cream and I'm going to try this on Oh, that is pigmented and smells amazing. So this is beautiful. <laughs> um, it was super easy to apply. It's incredibly pigmented. It's kind of like a watery formula, um, but not like a bad one, like a good one. And I can feel that it's trying to dry down. It smells amazing. It smells like cupcakes. And I really like this color. So this is option one. I think it looks beautiful. I think it's very bold. I think that if you are into bold lips and want the kind of some pop of color, this would be a really, really pretty lip to do. Um, they have a deeper red one that might fit better with the crease color. This maybe is a little too pinky for the actual um, shade we have going on on the eyes, but I mean, this is already dried. So it's amazing. If you were interested in getting them, I would highly recommend it. I just bought another nudish one, but it's too pink for this look too. So I have gone back and forth about buying these like a million and a half times. And after trying this one, I will be buying more because they're amazing. Um, like, ready? Nada. There's nothing. So that was super fast. I didn't fast forward anything or whatever. So you saw it's very comfortable. I feel like I have nothing on my lips right now. Like it doesn't feel drying. It feels like nothing. It feels like my lips. So that's really cool. I'm going to get more of these definitely because I don't hear anybody talk about them and they seem to be amazing. So there's that option. And now I'm going to try on the CoverGirl one. So what I like to do is I like to put on a little bit of chapstick and then I put on the NYX Red Matte Liner all over my lips. And now I'm going in with the CoverGirl Paradise Lost. This is like a deep chocolatey brown and it looks 
beautiful. This one also smells good. It smells um, a little more chemically, <laughs> but not bad. So like I said, I've never used this, so. So this is slightly patchy, um, but it is a dark color, so that's okay. So I love the color, but I don't think that I love this formula. I think that this color is so beautiful. I think that it works beautifully with this makeup. I think it looks super pretty. So I would definitely say that I would pick this lip option, but I, I know Milani makes a brown that's kind of this tone. I would recommend maybe you getting that one instead of this one simply because it is a little hard to work with, but I do like how it turned out and it is workable. I mean, you just, as you saw, like I had to go in, kind of do like a layer and then go in and kind of do like a little small area, a little small area, a little small area, and then it turned out fine. So this is what it looks like and I love it. So I'm very pleased. Let me take my hair down and you can see the finished entire look. Also, maybe if you used a darker lip liner underneath like a dark, like pigmented dark brown, this would be um, probably easier to put over top as well. So this is the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you recreate it, you should totally tag me in it on Instagram or whatever, and then I can look at your amazing work because I'm sure it's really good. Um, so yes, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you have any suggestions for me, definitely comment them down below. If you haven't already, you should follow me on Instagram right here. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love it if you came back and it really, really helps me if you guys do enjoy these videos, if you would subscribe. So definitely do so. Hit the little bell so you get notifications every single time that I upload and I will see you guys in the next one. I don't like it, thanks. Okay, I know what and what. Yeah.